Gray. I'm here with my colleague, Evan Pitstick. We're over in Yellow Springs, hanging out, drinking coffee, you know, chilling. Um, we have been working, I've been working in the tech field for about 20 years. I started off in the Columbus area, started running a dot-com uh, out of the basement, classic CEO, um, hired me to do that, grew into a $15 million e-commerce system selling medical equipment back in the early 1999, 2000 timeframe. Um, since then, I didn't, I tried to play around with mobile. Mobile was a mess back then. I really quietly sat and tested it throughout the last two decades until a project came up from a company. And of all things, it was a penny stock company. So I'm uh, AB, is it AB, right? Yes. Uh, so I'm interested in your critique after you can hit me up later. But um, out of all the companies that we work with, we work with very big companies like Masterlock, Valvoline, Barnes & Noble, Penske. We provide mobile system, uh, digital systems from our, our marketing assets all over the globe. Uh, none of those guys really invest in innovation. They kind of center on tools and systems and we provide those services. Um, but um, in the last couple of years, this penny stock bubbled up to the surface and said, we want you to build this thing. That's what we're going to talk about today. We're building this uh, platform, this digital platform that kind of does everything that social media does, like the best things of social media, but in a private, more secure way. And also no advertising. Um, so we're not harvesting data from people. And my systems are already set up for access layer control, like privacy segmentation of data. So we're gonna build and talk about how we're expanding on top of that and how we took a platform and put inside of it a shopping system to prove how we can load networks into our platform. So that's kind of what today's about. Um, I'm gonna to go to the next slide. Um, let's see. So just real quickly, Amazon's not uh, affiliated with us, but, and I have a disclaimer on there, but we guys all saw what happened in the pandemic. Small shops closed, they had intermittent access, they had people out, they had all kinds of problems. Money couldn't get there locally very easily, but money flowed through the infrastructure that Amazon's worked on for 26 years. So everybody knows that digital infrastructure works, just small businesses don't have it. And if they do get it, they have to pay a pretty heavy um, uh, ticket to ride. Uh, so they have a, a high expense on um, uh, profit sharing to other parties that are providing it. So we're also going to try to provide a low cost infrastructure and provide that to small businesses. Um, so our small businesses are losing market share and profits. That's the problem that we're trying to solve. That's the pain point. <clears throat> small businesses lack a low cost unified marketplace. marketplace. The reason why I say that is Bob's shop, Steve's shop, Jenny's shop, they might be on Etsy, Facebook, or whatever, but to the shopper, imagine a digital shopper coming up to that area. They're not all in one place. They're all over the place. How do I'm not going to, there's only so much time I'm going to spend as a shopper to patronize shops that I want to get to, but I don't know where they're at, where they're not organized. So we're talking about unifying those shops. Um, we believe that, um, um, the, that uh, it's difficult to also find and do a local search. A lot of times if you use your mobile phone and you're just using Google and searching for something, your cell phone tower may pick up the next town over. You may order a pizza from a pizza place 50 miles away, but it's actually not tracking your geo. Our system tracks geo and it looks at your actual footprint and says, this shop is 500 meters from you or a half a mile from you or whatever. So we're actually using true geolocation once you're in the app. Um, providing a small business marketplace for shoppers, for local shoppers. So this is easier for the vendors, easier for the shoppers, um, and the, the vendors can track their orders. It's super easy. Um, we also have a low cost transactional fee that we mentioned. Instead of there being a heavy burden of a high percentage, if you go to sell. Um, Amazon.com, they have public record of all of their fees based on the category that you're selling in. So if you're selling antiques, you might be selling at 15% profit share to them or, you know, and you may have other costs associated there as well. Uh, with us, we, we, especially during the pandemic right now, we're starting off with a 2% across the board for products. So it's a very low cost. We want most of the money to flow to people that are running the shop. Um, so there's a normal credit card charge, and there's this low platform 2% dealsy. Um, so 
We have, so if we look at the target market, um, we loaded into our platform. We've been building this platform now for two years. This is not like a hope that we build it. We built it. We have it. And about halfway through the last two years, we had the pandemic, right? I mean, like literally almost a year ago, um, you know, was the rise of the pandemic. And um, the three, the th we loaded in the last, at the end of last year, 3.2 million businesses and seeded them into our system that have pretty good accuracy on data and phone numbers and so forth. So a business can literally get into our system, uh, find their business and claim it, and it will activate the navigation so people can navigate to their business. And we want them to verify that. Um, I'm gonna avoid a rabbit hole there because there's so many things to talk about. <laughs> Thank, uh, I'm just, anyway. So where are we in the process? Um, we've been starting this inception back in 2018. If you look at the top level, the, the platform mechanicals um, concepted and started pretty quickly at the end of 2018. And we've gotten really great traction throughout because we've been onboarding actual users, thousands and thousands of users that are in there using the system. Um, we have added this marketplace, which is a network inside the network it's called Main Street Marketplace. That has gotten some traction and we are actually reaching out to all the chambers across the US through a combination of calling and direct mail and one-on-one -on -one 15 minute conversations with chamber leaders. Um, and usually within 15 minutes, they get it. They haven't had anything like this to offer their businesses. They're interested and we're actually giving them a quarter percent of our 2%. So it's actually like a quarter of that I'm sorry, an eighth of our 2%, which is a quarter percent of the whole, uh, would go to the, the chamber as an ongoing revenue back to them. Um, and I'm AB just nodded, so that sentence did make sense, I know. Um, so uh, the last thing uh, is uh, we added in social tools as well. And um, we have um, you know feeds and so forth where you can follow different people and you have your own ability to do your posting and your commenting and so forth. People who have power over their posts have power to delete the comments and so forth. But we also have with that, with social is really the communication, the private communications between you and your friends. Once you have a bi-directional connection, you can do encrypted private chat to your friends. You could do encrypted private video to your friends right off the platform. And I'd like to call our system Zoom Zoom because it's faster connecting than this thing that we have. Um, anyway. Um, but anyway, I, I, it's probably not right for me to use their term, but anyway. Um, do you have customers? Yes. So we've started off with just um, uh, users coming in, checking out the platform in general. But now that we have the Main Street, we are onboarding vendors actively. Uh, we probably got close to 50, 60 vendors, maybe more uh, vendors that are loading in. We're just getting started. Um, but we've been testing operationally with real purchases since the middle of last year. Um, but we've been improving and flushing it out. Shoppers, uh, right now it's for bed vendors coming in, it's bring your own customer. So we, we want people to get on the platform and then have them come in. Uh, we send out um, <clears throat> vinyl stickers that have the QR code and people can get the app or jump right to their store. The QR code on their storefront uh, or on their mobile storefront if they're running around selling stuff, uh, uh, takes them right to their store and right into the products. Um, and um, the social aspect is, is a big connector. A lot of these big social uh, platforms out there are trying to connect with shopping, either internally, like with Facebook or other platforms are trying to join. Ours are all being birthed together. Uh, so all these components are naturally interoperable because we're, we're rendering them into the system. Um, we do have my experience, all of my experience has been with enterprise. So we do hope to bolt on an enterprise version of this where uh, you can run your private corporate shop. You can run your private vendors, uh, B2B approved vendors. You can have social controlled data flowing and having that locked and walled and walled garden uh, for enterprises as well. Um, this is a bogus slide that I created. Um, it's not really truly anything based on research. It was based on my gut feeling this morning. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to show that there is a, a high level on the top of data, data exposure, uh, sorry, least data exposure is at the top, most data exposure. And I kind of put a lot of the folks that use your data, you can read it in the news today about these um, platforms that are being forced to tell based on Apple's move in privacy, 
to tell people what they're doing with their data and how they're circulating it to other people. Our system uses that data, but only for the experience, only for your experience. We don't harvest it. We don't advertise, you know, broker it. Um, and so we, our target on the top right is to be in that top quadrant, uh, absolute highest utility, business uh, usage, uh, utilization for human experience. I happen to also be an occupational therapy. Uh, I'm, I'm actually an occupational therapist and, um, and I'm very much passionate about the last 20 years thinking about how do you help people with their activities of daily living? And it's a very complex thing to juggle all these digital loose ends. Um, there are no tools to do that in this world today. I'm going to try to build that into the system so that you can manage papas, you know, medicine and pickup and all the all that data of your data, their data, your children's data, your pets data, your privacy, your groups, your private sharing of video over here. All that can be controlled through very specific security keys. We have all the mechanisms for that and we are folding it into this platform. Um, but uh, I'll just say that the way this whole thing is structured, am I way over time or are we doing okay? I should go quick, I gotta wrap up. Um, so we are building, we are the infrastructure, building all the operational stuff, building in terms of service, uh, having all that stuff kind of created. Um, ArcNet is a player on the field. They license some of the technology of the IP uh, behind this, this, uh, this, this uh, entity. And my customer is, is Totochrome. So both Honeycomb and Ar ArcNet are supporting the customer, which is Arc, uh, Inter uh, Totochrome Inc. Um, and um, that gentleman, the CEO, comes out of Raytheon, a very super savvy guy, lots of patents on content. Here's some of the companies that I've been working with over the years. Some of them you might not recognize, some of them you, you will. Um, we're responsible for protecting their data over the years. Um, and what are we asking? Here's the final slide. Um, use it. That would be awesome. I mean, download it, try it out. It's available on iOS and Android. Connect with a friend, tell your friend about it. Connect with it. See how easy you can video connect. See how easy, once you're authenticated, mobile, uh, two-factor video, uh, email checked, uh, you can go into the network and direct connect with anybody through that. Um, you have the ability to shop in there um, and you can post stuff. Please have fun. Um, what can you do? You can also share it. Tell a chamber, tell a small business, uh, tell an investor. That'd be cool. Um, tell a small, uh, your startup peers, because literally if you have a startup and you wanted to build something, instead of building this boring infrastructure, uh, there's opportunities to launch inside of our platform with an, a special arrangement. And so you could leverage our platform and launch your business inside of it. Uh, there are investment opportunities, but I'm not a financial advisor. Talk to Sotochrome. That's it.